Now, in addressing the order of salvation, a.k.a. the plan of salvation of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ, there are ten basic doctrines. There are ten basic uh, timharits or timhartoch or teachings. There are ten basic doctrines, subject matters that must be learned, you understand, by those who wish and desire to become mature, Rastafari. In other words, as those who desire to become mature Christians, you understand, we, by the new name, in order to become mature, we must learn these ten main doctrines and ten main teachings. And this is so vital and so important to the Rastafari, especially considering the, the present state of Rastafari as the movement, as the community, and a lot of the philosophies and opinions out there that have been substituted you understand, in place of the teachings of His Imperial Majesty based on the Holy Scriptures and based on the testimony of His Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. Now, first of all, let's go through the ten, the ten um, main doctrines or teachings known as the plan of salvation, the plan of His salvation according to the order of salvation. Because the first law of the Semayat, the Shemayim, the first law of the heavens, is order. You understand? This is where we get the idea, even down here in the temporal, of law and order. The first law of the heavens is order. We have to bring the house, so this is bring the house to order. You understand? Otherwise, we're out of order. And disorder does not work in His Imperial Majesty's house. Disorder does not work amongst the true Rastafari and any mature Christian. So the first is election. Let's go through this. Election, first. Secondly, the call. Thirdly, regeneration. Fourthly, conversion. Fifthly, justification. Sixthly, adoption. Seventhly, sanctification. Eighthly, perseverance. Ninthly, death. And tenth is glorification. These are the ten important and vital doctrines of the true Christina, of the true anointing, of the true messianic way, or what is called the Christian way, and for us with the new name of true Ras Teferi. Election, the call, regeneration, conversion, justification, adoption, sanctification, perseverance, death, glorification. Now, some notes that you need to take down, some notes you need to uh, make note of, that we're using these present, these particular initial names, this nomenclature, initially, but we want to remind ones and ones, since our study is based on the King James, from the English perspective, based on the King James Bible, and the particular study Bible that we utilize, in the line of Jewish society and the Bible studies of the Imperial Majesty, the English version is the King James Version of the Schofield Study Bible, the Schofield, the Oxford edition of the King James Version of the Bible is our basic initial preliminary, the English level study Bible and the English level Version is the King James Version, and the particular study Bible that we utilize is the Schofield Study Bible, and it's, the particular one is the Oxford Edition. We have it on our recommended books at lojsociety.org, so we advise ones that want to either order it or find out which one it is and get it from their local uh, Bible bookstore, uh, otherwise locally or from another, another seller, distributor, they're free, but just to know which particular Bible and which particular study Bible that we utilize. Now, many ask us about different other Bibles and other versions of the Bible, and there's useful things in them, but if you want to study with I and I, in order for us to be on the same page, we utilize, firstly, the King James Version of the Bible, then for the studies, we utilize the Oxford edition of the Schofield Study Bible or the King James Bible, which is the Schofield Study Bible, the Oxford Edition. Now, these main ten doctrines or teachings 
are fundamental when we speak about Christ and the true Christ and Christianity and the matter, the very important, the vital matter in this world and the world to come of salvation. Without a knowledge of these doctrines and teachings or the importance that they have, they play in our anointed life, in our elect life, in our Christian life, as mature Christians, it's important for us to know what these ten doctrines are, how the Bible and the Gospels and the testimonies, or the testimony that's given in the Scripture is important for us. But the first thing we have to remind ones of is that these ten may also go under different names. For example, let's take the fifth one, justification. Justification equals righteousness. To be justified is to be righteous. So in the English, there's often two, sometimes even three different translated words that are used. Yet behind the King James Version of the Bible, as we go to the next grade of our study in the Amharic and in the Koine Greek and even in the Hebrew, we find that in the more original languages of the scriptures, such as the Gutas and the Amharic and the Hebrew and the Greek, that these words are from one and the same root. You understand? But then when they're translated into English, they use certain liberties in English to try to describe sometimes the Hebraic idioms and other expressions. They use different words within the English. So it's important to make a note that even though we are giving initially these particular names, you understand, know, based on our study of the scripture, that as we go through them, we find, for example, election. Election has to do with the chosen, being chosen and choosing, choosing and election. So sometimes, and sometimes we won't find the word as elect or election or electing, but we find it as choose, choosing, and chosen. You know what I'm trying to say right there? So it's important to, to recognize that these particular, as, as it was translated in English, for example, righteousness. You find righteousness here and you find justification there, but then you find it from the root of, of tzedekah, tzedekah, or tzedek, or tzedek which comes down to one particular word, but in different senses in the King James Version of the Bible, they've been translated in various different ways using different words. So as we expand on this particular teaching, as we expand, as we teach on each of these ten particular doctrines, Yah willing, we will touch on the different forms, the different words that they might have substituted or used in the King James Version of the Bible. So, uh, when you come from an unstudied perspective in Christianity, as a Christian, this is why there's so many immature Christians out there, which may have begun off sincerely seeking Christ, but have not been taught and learned. So they are ignorant, you understand, of the true message and the teaching that accompanies the message of salvation. Because Imperial Majesty reminds us we should do all in our power to see to it that the message of salvation is heard by those who have not had the benefit of hearing it. Now after they hear it and they are desirous of it, they must be taught what is the teaching of the plan of salvation, what is the order of salvation, in order that they may learn these things and that they may do, you know what I'm saying, that they may do the will of him who has called us. You know what I'm saying, do that good will. You understand, and avoid evil. You understand, and show that great wisdom of the King of Kings in and according to His Christ. So we're saying this at the outset because as we um, try to fellowship and 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 encounter different brothers and sisters, and we reason with them, often certain erroneous um, ideas have been invested with some legitimacy by certain ignorant, not knowing brothers and sisters out there, such as one of the phrases was the whole idea of the righteous life. And we said to one sister that scripturally, that 
does not, that contradicts with Scripture, this idea of, oh, I want to live a righteous life. It's not living a righteous life. It's living a life of holiness. See, the real key word, considering what sort of life we want to live, is a holiness thing. It's not righteous life. And then we said, well, let's just um, study this for ourselves. So we did a, a brief uh, concordance and Bible study of it for ourselves. And we were... Not so much shocked, but we were um, pleasingly surprised, you understand, that exactly what the inspiration came to us when we told the sister this, no such thing about living a righteous life, you understand, of a righteous life. Righteousness has to do with life, but when it says that one is righteous, we need to overstand.